Welcome to the Pointers for Parents video series. We are here to help you understand the milestones and development that your child is experiencing in the classroom. As a part of our English and Language Arts series, today we will be talking about the Derivational Relations stage of word study. Derivational Relations stage sounds like big words that are meant to confuse you. In this video, we will break down the information that your child is understanding in this stage of development. We will also send you home with tips and resources to best support your child. Many thoughts may be running through your head right now. What does all of this mean? How do I know my child is in this stage? What does it even mean to be in this stage of word study? Why is this important to me? Let's start from the beginning. What is word study anyway? Word study has two main purposes. The first is to find consistencies and logic within our own language so we may better understand it. The second is to help our students and children master reading, writing, and spelling these words. Within this umbrella of word study, we have several different developmental stages to classify how advanced students are in the process of mastering. By observing how a student reads, writes, and spells, we can categorize their abilities into different stages. Is this starting to make sense? Let's move on. In this video, we are specifically diving into the derivational relations stage. This stage describes the abilities of more advanced readers and writers, typically upper elementary, middle school, and high school students. This is also the final stage of word study. Students are fluent in reading and writing and are now able to learn the process of derivation. In other words, they are learning how to break down the word by identifying its root, noticing prefixes and suffixes, and combining all of these to come up with word meanings. Think of it this way. It's like the old tale about fishing. If you give someone a fish, they can eat for a day. If you teach someone to fish, they can eat for a lifetime. In this stage, your child is learning to fish. They are mastering the skill of learning words, so they are set for a lifetime. Now that we have discussed the meaning of word study and this individual stage, we can highlight what your child's strengths are in this stage. As students are mastering their understanding of words through reading, writing, and spelling, they are able to broaden their vocabulary drastically during this stage. By understanding the roots and affixes of words, students can see similarities in words, families, and concepts and infer meaning through derivation. Reading is very important to your child because it is the primary means by which they can gain access and understanding of these words in this stage. There are many ways that you, as parents, can support your children and enhance their knowledge at this stage. Encourage them to read. Reading is a constant exercise of their skills at this stage. Finding books with words and ideas that will stretch their thinking and imagination is the perfect way to challenge your child. Use online resources. There are many different websites and programs online that explore words and etymology. Encouraging your child to use these for schoolwork and personal use is a great way to support them and broaden their thinking. I will list a few of these on the next slide. Lastly, just have fun educational conversations with your children at home. Find new words and use them in conversation. Give them a word of the day. Come up with fun, interactive ways to challenge your child's brain outside the walls of school. If you're learning with them, it will be so much more fun for them to learn. I hope this video helps you understand the derivational relations stage and also ways that your child is learning and can continue learning outside of school. Remember, one of the most important ways to support your child is simply engaging in meaningful educational conversation. Learning can be as easy as that.